Hi, I'm Adam. Today I want to talk to you about the first in our series of commissioning a mill, leveling and squaring your mill. We're going to go through leveling your stand and squaring your mill to get the most out of your machine. You will need the following tools to complete this procedure. Before you begin, the machine must be in its final installed location on a flat, stable surface suitable for the machine's weight. The machine must be roughly leveled in X and Y using a four foot carpenter's level and must be sitting on all four of its feet. The machine must be secured to the machine stand and the screws must be torqued to 10 foot pounds. And then the machine and the path pilot controller must be powered on. To start the leveling procedure, remove any vices, rotary table, or fixtures from the machine table. Remove any tools from the spindle. Stone the table using a lubricant or water displacement oil to detect any burrs. Wipe the surface clean with a cloth. Reference the machine, then using the MDI line, type in the command to center your machine. Hit the enter key to execute the command. Put the precision level onto the center of the table along the X axis, then mark its location. Make a note of the bubble location, then rotate the level 180 degrees. If the bubble reads the same value, then it is calibrated correctly. If your level is out of calibration like ours was, please follow your manufacturer's instructions to bring it back into spec. To level the stand, we recommend all major accessories such as your ATC and enclosure are installed before leveling. Put the level in the center of the machine table. Confirm that the level's body is aligned to the X axis. Read the bubble on the level and note which side of the machine is low. Raise the feet on the low side of the machine. Make sure the foot pad doesn't move. Let the bubble settle, then read it again. If the bubble is not centered, then repeat the previous steps. If it is centered, then rotate the level 90 degrees and align it to the Y axis. Read the bubble and note which side of the machine is low. Adjust the feet on the low side of the machine. Let the bubble settle. Once the bubble is centered, this indicates that the machine stand is level in both the X and Y directions. Confirm that the X axis has maintained its level. To square the machine, put the level in the center of the machine table and align it to the X axis. Using the MDI line, type the command to move the table to its Y negative limit and hit enter to execute. Note the position of the bubble. In the MDI line, type the command to move the machine to the Y positive limit. Hit the enter key to execute the command. Read the bubble on the level and note its position. This represents the twist in the casting. In the MDI line, type in the command to move to the Y negative limits. Hit the enter key to execute. Using the calculation on screen, calculate the amount of shim stock required to remove the twist from your machine. Locate the appropriate shim stock from the kit, then loosen the two front bolts with a 10 millimeter hex wrench. Using a metal block on a clean cloth, place it on the flat surface of the stand and lift the front corner with a pry bar. Slide the shim between the base and the stand, making sure it fits around the bolt. Remove the pry bar and the block. Tighten the two front bolts with a torque wrench to 10 foot pounds. Validate the twist has been removed by jogging to the Y negative and Y positive limits. Something that you might run into like we did is when you put the shim under the foot, it actually might max out your level. If that's the case, don't panic. Just go ahead and adjust your stand. The goal isn't to make sure that the machine is perfectly dead center, but instead when you go to your Y negative limit and your Y positive limit that the bubble doesn't move. If you have any questions about this, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching.